Now Sheldrip really is for me the gem of our kind of youth crop. He is so talented, so well-rounded. What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with FM21 and FC Norgeland. And I wanted to start today on Andreas Sheldrip's profile. He's playing really well in real life. He's developing really well in game as well. He's now played 10 games in total in the league. He's still 16 years old, but the main reason I wanted to start on his page. He is now wanted by Paris Saint-Germain. Now Sheldrip really is for me the gem of our kind of youth crop. He is so talented, so well-rounded, so developed as well mentally for a 16 year old remember. And he's progressing nicely. I really, really want to hold on to this man. I guess what's working in our favor. He doesn't have a release clause. I tied him down to a fairly long-term deal, but yeah, it's going to be difficult if PSG come knocking to hold on to Sheldrip. And guys, let me know in the comments, how much would you accept for Andreas Sheldrup, considering we're in the Danish league as well? What do you think? How much, if PSG came in for this man tomorrow or in the summer, how much would you accept? So guys, Editor Joe here, and I actually forgot to mention the youth intake. So let's take a quick look now. We've had some very nice potential players, two Garnets as well, which of course I'm very happy about. Big part of this save is trying to bring through top quality Ghanaians here. Also a Lithuanian and an Egyptian. Firstly then, we have Clinton Arthur, definitely one of the players I'm most excited about from this youth intake. Solid physicals for a 15 year old, fantastic technique as well. He can play on the wings and up top. Needs to work on his finishing dribbling and a few mentals, but 15 years old, this could be a top quality player in a few years time. Moving on to Daniel Geertsen, a keeper, a Danish keeper, really solid, 20 determination, you love to see it. Driven personality, 14 reflexes as well, and definitely a player I want to bring through in our first team in the near future. Final player I'll show you then is Storm Freeman. I'm not sure why he's not five star potential. He looks as good as the other two, to be fair. Great technique and heading again like Clinton Arthur. Perhaps it's his physicals letting him down just a little bit. Two determination, that's not great. We'll work on that. But again, a player who definitely should be in our first team in a few years. So we've had three games since we've started the championship kind of group and, and uh, decisive stage of the league campaign. And 0-0 first against AAB, a terrible performance. Very few chances for either side and we had to take a point. We then went away to a dance and we're finding it noticeably more difficult playing these better teams in the league, I think, more consistently. And we can see because Sabi scores after a, a defensive error, really. It was a poor first half again from our squad, but we made some changes. Chukurani into Joachim Rothman, who has hardly played in the last few months after me questioning whether he should be playing over Isaac Katanga. You can see, I went two up top, but then Chukwuani tackles, intercepted, dribbled through, took it round the keeper and slotted to make it 2-1. What a goal that was, but 91st minute, over the top to Sabi again, and he slotted home another frustrating draw. But then, home to Copenhagen, of course, a massive game. They are top of the league. Abby Francis once, twice, blocks, but Andreas Bredal on the rebound. The only goal of that game, and we beat Copenhagen. They had some chances. We did too, but we won the game against the league leaders. Andreas Bredal really is developing nicely and is another option, really, uh, to come in for Kamaldin Sulemana, who really has struggled in the last few months. All of that then leaves us second in the league. After dropping a few points with those draws, that win against Copenhagen keeps us in the title race. We are two points away from Copenhagen. I think seven games remaining. And today, a big one up against Midtjylland. And I think these guys have probably underperformed as of late. They should be challenging for the league. They were predicted to come first. You can see their form in the last couple of weeks has been terrible. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. One other thing to update you on quickly, we do have a few injuries. Christensen in centre mid is injured. Also, Magnus Kufors. I think he could be down for the season as well. He's out for two to five weeks. We'll see. Maybe we can get him back in a few weeks, but two of our key centre mids out for a few weeks. Okay, and Copenhagen draw away to Oldberg. That means if we win today, we go top of the league for the first time. So here we go, guys. This is our lineup, and you can see a familiar back four apart from uh, Waledzi, Maxwell Waledzi, who comes in. He's played really well. I've given him the chance 
Uh, so Jensen has dropped to the bench. Also, Erika Tang will have to come in today because Daniel Svensson is suspended. Also, Andreas Sheldrup is going to have to fill in at deep line playmaker. I have not played him here just yet. Um, also, Chukwani, 18 years old. Abby Francis, 19 years old centre mid. It is such a young team we have today, especially in the centre of the park. Also, Bredal is playing better um, than Campbell Dean right now, so he is going to start. Here we go then, guys. Mitch Alan, not on the best form. I know Avanza has been great. 7.4 match racing for him this season. He is on fire. Here's the man we need to stop. Early on then, Mitch Island on the attack. I noticed that Peony Sisto is starting over Mabu, who has, I think, requested to leave the club uh, for uh, one reason or another, if my research serves me correctly. But here we go, over to Peone Sisto on the left-hand side. Let's hold him up, good block. So Vindal delivers an early ball up to Atanga, and he does intercept the poor pass by Kools. Can Isaac Atanga conjure anything up? No real support, but here comes Andreas Brezal on the left-hand side. It is a pass a long way back uh, towards our goal. Sheldrup, Chukwani, Atanga, good ball, Eric Tang. It really is um, a squad of a lot of youngsters and a lot of kind of B team players for us today. So if we get anything, I'll be delighted. Chukwani, cynical foul right there. 12 minutes gone then. Victor Jensen on the right hand side of the pitch. He has Tycosin for support. Instead, into Bredal, headed clear. Here comes Eric Tang. What can he do? It's held by Hansen, a bit of a tame effort in the end. So now Bredal on the ball, Chukwani has it. Out to Erika Tang, into Abby Francis, does well to get there. Into Isaac Atanga, let's go, come on, we get a goal early on in this game. And currently, we sit provisionally, I know we have um, 78 minutes to go in this match and extra time. But currently, we sit provisionally at the top of the league. Great vision Great run and a clinical finish. Come on, boys. Just over half an hour gone then. Victor Jensen. Back to Mads Tycosin towards the back post. I noticed Bredal has much more presence about him in the air than Campbell Dean. But now Eric Atang is, is intercepted over the top to Sorry Kaba. Waledzi, please help us out. Vindal. Oh, <laughs> agonizingly wide of the post. They do guess corner. Um, but I am now definitely going to drop our defensive line and our... Um, line of engagement as well. Let's see if we can get to half time with this score line or even better. Let's see. Well, let's see with it at the back. Not the best passer. That one is absolutely on the money. And Isaac Tanga has scored. He's offside. Oh, I should have seen. Oh, that would have been brilliant. So just a few minutes left until half time. Maxwell, well, let's see. I think he has about eight or nine passing. I am trying to train him as a ball player. And that was a decent one. Victor Jensen. Early to Atanga, it is intercepted. Paulinho with the ball. Mitch Alan trying to hoof it uh, forward to Sorry Kaba, who does have some presence about him. Pione Sisto, much quicker. Sisto? Sisto, much quicker. Back to Paulinho, into Sorry Kaba, just over the bar. And hopefully, we can now hold it until half time. Victor Jansen with a free kick then, just on the stroke of half time. It's held by Hansen. Uh, let's retreat, make sure we don't concede on the stroke of half time. He does. Boost it up early. Let's try and be composed now. Andrea Sheldrup, 16 years old, dominating the ball in the centre of the park, hopefully, for us today. Um, out to Peony Sisto. What can Mitch Island do now? Paulinho, you can see Sorry Kaba is finding some pockets of space and he is very uh, physical, so he is definitely a handful. Right now, though, we're doing okay. Schultz, oh, it's found its way to Avanza. Oh, that's so frustrating. One minute to go until half time, and Avanza, the danger man, I highlighted him. I think the way the ball breaks him was quite lucky, to be honest with you. I mean, let's take a look. I'm not actually sure what happened. Schultz, it's a hopeful ball up to. Well, Edzi misses it. Then I think Kian Hansen brings down, sorry, Kaba. Avanza finds himself free and slots it away. Oh, that is annoying. So, in at the half. To be fair, they've had a lot of chances and probably deserve to score. Um, just a shame we couldn't hold it until the half. So I'm going to try and play slightly more counter-attacking football in this second half. Probably try and give up, not try to, but accept that we're not going to dominate the ball in this game. Uh, what is the possession? They have currently 51%. So if we can try and counter them more effectively, I think that's where we can win this game. 64th minute of this game. Pione Sisto, Paulinho, Sorry Kaba, Mitch Alan. They do look pretty menacing. I can't lie to you. Frank Onyeka, I remember him scoring a great goal in the very first episode of this series. Now Dreyer, ambitious effort, well tipped over by Vindal there. Avanda with the corner then, headed clear by Kian Hansen. Camel Dean, can we counter? Let's see, Camel Dean on the counter attack. 
He is very, very dangerous in this type of scenario. Atanga not giving him much support though. A bit of a shame. 68th minute of the game. It's still 1-0. Piano Sisto coming a long way. Um, almost entirely the width of the pitch with the ball there. Uh, we can't really allow him to do that. Now Paulinho finds himself in plenty of space. Cuts it back. Avanda, two bites at the cherry. Tycosin does clear. And that is maybe the single worst clearance I have ever seen in my life. So Kamalzin Sulemana on the ball, almost doing what Piano Sisto just did and cover the width of the pitch. Come right across to the right-hand side now into Victor Jensen. Good movement by our boys, Isaac Tanga. Victor Jensen, I think it was blocked. Yes, it was. So we're into the final five minutes of this one and we do have a highlight. It would be a bit of a heartbreaker if we were to lose it right now. I have put Rimmon on up top and moved Tanga out to the right-hand side of the pitch. Let's see if anything does come of this. We look defensively pretty compact right here. Hopefully, they can't break us down. That's exactly what they've done. Gustav Isaacson celebrates massively because Mitch Islands are right back in the title race as it stands. I mean, I think we, we were pretty well set defensively. Have we just lost our man potentially right there? At the back post, yeah, between the right back and the centre back, easy finish. Oh, so we've gone two up top. We have a Tanga and Rimmer now working together as a dual striker partnership. Two in midfield, a 4 4 2, really. Uh, Kamuzin, now what can we create? Really pressing them immediately. Kamuzin, a moment of magic, no. Tycosin, though, into Sheldrup. Oh, my words! You can see why PSG want this man. It's a great effort and a great save as well. But the time is ticking away here. And now Frank and Yeka, he does give the ball away. Kamuzin Sulemana, good ball into Andreas Sheldrup. Another good pass to Tanga. That was less so, but Sheldrup, oh, he gives the ball away. Shouldn't have given it away there. Abby Francis uh, was given no chance of retrieving that. And now we could be punished. Avanza on the attack for Mitch Island. Surely not. I mean, he's clearly taken the ball. That can't be a pen. I cannot believe it. He's given the penalty. Even the uh, commentary said that was a surprise and it will be a Vanza for his seconds of the game here. Venzel can't save it. Game over. Mitch Island are going to win this one. I mean, what can you do? They had an XG over three, including the penalty to be fair, but they created a lot of chances and probably deserve to win. But to get to the 86th minute and still be at one all and then end up losing 3-1... It's a real heartbreaker, I can't lie. I mean, what can you say? This 22-year-old Vanda has 17 techniques and great attributes. Uh, some pretty poor ones as well, it must be said, but he is a class player for the Danish league. And that will bring our 14-game unbeaten streak to an end. We weren't beaten since we lost to Bromby on pens in the cup and actually in the league since we last played Mitch Island. They really are our bogey team. Three games against them and three losses right now. Whereas Copenhagen, top of the league, we've picked up seven points in three games. Two wins out of three, so I don't know. But looking at the league, the championship group now, six teams at the top or five teams really because Randers are some way away. But we're still three points away from Copenhagen. We miss out on the chance to go top of the league. Mitch Island are right there and even OB are on great form as well if we take a very quick look. At their schedule, you can see they've won a lot of games recently and haven't lost in a while. So it's still all to play for, but Copenhagen are still the big favourites. But guys, if you enjoyed today, make sure you smash that like button. Really helps the channel and the series and the video out. Drop a sub as well if you're new. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And remember, how much would you accept for Andreas Sheldrup? I'll see you guys in the next one.